Hi guys, how are you doing? My name is Sebastian from Tech Century and welcome to my full review of the Dell U2515H WQHD IPS monitor. So when we first take a look at the price and availability of this U2515H, uh, this is a pretty difficult topic because this monitor was just released one or two weeks ago. So here in Germany, the prices start at 275 euros and in the US I only found it at Dell.com and it retails for $499.99. But again, this monitor was just released, so I'm sure that in the next couple of weeks the price will drop. Now if we move on to a quick size comparison just to give you an idea how big or small this 25 inch monitor is then we see that in comparison to the AOC i2369VM 23 inch monitor it's not really that much bigger and so it really feels more like a 23 inch monitor than 27 inch one because right next to this we actually see the Liama ProLite XB2779QS which is basically the same size as the Apple iMac and just has a 27 inch diagonal with a pretty big bezel so it's a lot bigger than this Dell monitor and so overall it feels like a 23 inch monitor but still gives you more screen real estate so I think this is a great compromise. Ports are another aspect where this monitor really shines because on the back we'll find a Kensington lock, an AC power connector, two HDMI ports, two display ports that are full size display port but if I'm right these are actually only used for daisy chaining so you can only actually connect one input. Then we have one mini display port which is rarely to find on these kind of monitors and we also have a USB 3.0 upstream port because we actually have a 5 times USB 3.0 hub on this monitor. Now the location isn't really the best in my opinion so that limits the usability of this USB 3.0 hub but still it's great to see this included. In addition to that we also have a Visa 100 mount on the back so yes you can mount this monitor to the wall or monitor arm. Ergonomics are another important aspect for a monitor and the stand that's included here on this Dell U2515H is just absolutely amazing. We have tilt, we have swivel, we have height adjustments for over 11.5 centimeters and we can even rotate the screen 90 degrees. So that's just absolutely amazing to see and one of the best stands that I've ever seen on any monitor. Now of course the picture quality is the most important aspect about any monitor and fortunately we have a high quality IPS panel here on this U2515H that delivers great color reproduction and very solid viewing angles. In addition to that it also even covers 99% of the sRGB color spectrum. On top of that the monitor is also very bright with 350 candela. In comparison my AOC i2369VMs are only 250 candela, so big difference right there. And despite the fact that I have three big windows in my office, I still can use the monitor at day at only 59% brightness, so that's a big plus as well. Also. Dell has a very nice surface coating to this monitor. It's not glossy, but it's also not extremely matte. So colors look great and pictures look amazing. And it's definitely better than the completely matte finish on my AOC monitors or the glossy finish on my Liama. In addition to this, the text looks very sharp thanks to the 2560x1440 resolution, which is significantly higher than only full HD. And from a regular distance, I can't distinguish the individual pixels. Now unfortunately even the U2515H is not perfect and so we get to the cons of the picture quality or the panel quality and that's that we have light bleeding all around. It's not heavy light bleeding but still in very dark scenes you can see the white backlight coming through and also just the black looks more like dark grey than really pitch black but that's of course uh, something that we are used to from IPS panels and LED backlit panels in general. Moving on, we'll take a look at the on-screen display or the menu and we have five capacitive buttons here on this Dell monitor and a very simple menu overall. So the first uh, button actually allows you to set different presets, standard, game, multimedia or custom color temperature which is also very nice to see. The second one allows you to go into the port selection and the third one allows you to go into the main menu where you can adjust things like brightness, contrast, color, response time and so on. Now, unfortunately, I feel like this is a very bad solution with these capacitive buttons. First of all, they're not illuminated, so if it's dark, you can barely see where they are. 
Second of all, then these don't work too well all the time. Now for me, it's actually only the power button, which doesn't work at times for like two or three minutes. It just doesn't respond at all. And I actually uh, called uh, the retailer that I purchased this monitor from, and he said that this is an issue with all of these Dell monitors that have these capacitive buttons, that they just don't work too well. So this is definitely a big negative problem. Now I'll probably return mine to get another one to see if this is better, but on mine it's pretty horrible and if the button just doesn't react and you can turn the monitor on and off, this might be a deal breaker, but I hope that this is only an issue with my unit. Now before I get to the verdict of my review, I quickly want to talk about the gaming capabilities of this U2515H and I have to say I was very impressed. Now I tested this with my Xbox One because I'm not a PC gamer and this was of course another challenge for the monitor because the Xbox One can only output full HD and the monitor actually has a higher native resolution but despite that gaming worked well for all games FIFA 14, WWE 2K15 and also Forza Horizon so I have to say no issues at all and I didn't even enable the quick response time in the menu so this would also be another option to even tune the performance more for gaming but I think this is a very solid choice and I'm very impressed. I will also have a separate gaming demo video with around 5 to 10 minutes of gaming footage coming up and it will be uploaded in two days so make sure to subscribe to the channel that you don't miss this video and now we'll continue on with the verdict. So as you can probably already imagine, my verdict is pretty positive about this U2515H. It's a great monitor for the price with an amazing resolution, incredibly small bezels and also just absolutely stellar picture quality. And it's certainly a great value for the money, especially over here in Europe and I hope that the price will still drop in the US as well. And honestly, it's probably the best monitor that I've ever seen when it comes to picture quality. Now there's only this one big major gripe that I have with this monitor and that are the capacitive buttons, especially the power button, which just sometimes doesn't work for me at all. Again, I hope it's only my unit, but again, I've seen also other forum posts with other Dell monitors where people have these issues. So uh, unfortunately, the power button especially is pretty bad. But besides that, it's an absolutely amazing monitor that I can highly recommend. So this will also end my review of the U2515H. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think of this video as well as of the monitor, of course, in the comment section down below. And I'm eager to hear what you guys have to say. Also, make sure to like my official Facebook page, facebook.com slash techcenturyofficial and follow me on Twitter at techcentury. I'm hoping to see you in my next video. See you next time.